In this screencast lecture, we will look at on the topic action of antibiotics on the translation process. This one is pertaining to the topic mechanism of action of antibiotics on the protein synthesis. That is concerned there with the fourth unit of your syllabus. The protein synthesis inhibitors are extremely diverse and ubiquitous class of biomolecules that are having a lot of application there in the different fields. Their function ranges from inhibition of bacterial translation to blocking the synthesis of some specific amino acid residues addition during the growth of the translation process. The role of inhibitors in the organism is a huge one that serve as a key in answering several questions in the field of biochemistry and medicine. Even using of different kinds of antibiotic tablets against a particular infection is depend upon the selective activity of these antibiotics, especially on the translation process of a prokaryote or on a eukaryote. Most antibiotics like many pharmaceuticals block the translation in protein synthesis. These substances are effective because they are taking an advantage of the tremendous complexity involved there in the process of the protein synthesis. The inhibition often involves an interaction existing between the antibiotic and the ribosome molecule. This is one of the reason why scientists who have worked in the field of ribosomes especially concerned to underpinning their structure and function at the molecular level were recognized with the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in the year 2009. This is a diagram showing the mechanism of action of various kinds of antibiotics in a cell system. It ranges from a cell wall synthesis to inhibiting the protein synthesis process there happening in the cell. So, these things have been shown there in the right hand side that is those antibiotics that are involved there in inhibiting the protein synthesis process. It is further divided into those antibiotics that inhibits the 50s subunit of the prokaryotic ribosome and certain group of antibiotics that can able to inhibit the 30s subunit of the prokaryotic ribosomes. Apart from that, there are certain classes of antibiotics that can able to influence the protein synthesis process by interfering with the activity of the tRNA molecule. The following is a table containing some of the important protein synthesis inhibitor and the title says what is the system in which they are acting on and in the right hand side the mode of action of that particular antibiotic has been presented. Details of the same has been available there in your web page also. In the web page under the notes section in unit 4 you can able to see in the under the serial number third the detail of the antibiotics and their mechanism of action have been provided there. So, you can go and read the contents in such a way you understand the name of the antibiotics and their mechanism of action. Among these different groups of antibiotics that are acting on the various kinds of bacteria and archaea, as per your syllabus, three different antibiotics need to be studied in details. That includes streptomycin, chloromphenicol, and pyromycin, which is acting on bacteria, archaea and even on certain eukaryotic organisms. So, these three antibiotics we are going to study in detail. First, we look at the mechanism of action of pyromycin. Pyromycin is an amino nucleoside group of antibiotic and it is commonly produced from Streptomyces albonegia, an actinobacteria. Its chemical structure was first elucidated in 1950 by Yermolansky and Dila Haba. They act as a potential inhibitor of translation. They causes premature chain termination during the translation process in the ribosomes. A part of the antibiotic pyromycin molecule resembles the 3 dash end of the amino acylator tRNA molecule. Actually, the antibiotic mimics to that of the tyrosine tRNA. Thus, it enters the A site and transfer to the growing chain, binds to the A site and accepts the peptidyl group there. The peptidyl transferase activity of the ribosome then 
catalyzes the bond formation between the growing polypeptide chain and the pyromycin which causes the premature termination of the polypeptide chain thus it permits up to elongation and releases the partially formed polypeptide from the ribosomes the exact mechanism of action is unknown at present but the as we already discussed the three dash position contains the amide linkage instead of normal ester linkage that have been present in the amino acyl trna molecule so this amide bond makes a molecule much more resistant for hydrolysis and thereby causing the ribosome to become stalled and halt the protein synthesis process it inhibits translation process in bacteria archaea and eukaryotes pyromycin also inhibits the protein import mechanism that have been acting or taking place there in the mitochondria mainly by interfering with the intra mitochondrial atp dependent reaction the next antibiotic to be discussed is chloramphenicol it is a bacteriostatic compound originally derived from the, again an actinobacteria namely streptomyces venezuelae it was isolated by david gottlieb and it is introduced into clinical practice from 1914 commonly considered as a broad spectrum group of antibiotic it causes the protein synthesis by inhibiting the peptidyl transferase activity of the bacterial ribosome that is the 50s component of the bacterial ribosome that causes the peptidyl transferase activity it binds to amino acid 2451 and amino acid of a 2452 residues of the 23s rrna of the 50s ribosomal subunit and causes the inhibition it prevents the peptide bond formation thereby preventing the elongation of the amino acid chain it is commonly regarded as a elongation inhibitor group of antibiotic that influences the translation process the next antibiotic to be discussed that inhibit the translation process is streptomycin it belongs to amino glucosides group of antibiotics initially it was used as an antibiotic remedy for the tuberculosis it was again isolated from a actinobacterium named streptomyces graecis streptomycin cannot be given orally however it need to be administered by regular intramuscular injections it is referred as a protein synthesis inhibitor as they bind to the s12 protein of the 30s subunit of the bacterial ribosomes it interferes with the binding of formyl methionyl trna to the 30s subunit that is the initial trna that starts the process of protein synthesis this particular antibiotic is referred as a initiation inhibitor group of antibiotic thus the insertion of this particular antibiotic there in the 30s subunit causes the codon misreading or insertion of a improper amino acid is resulted due to the process of translation 